Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to find the voltage and the energy stored, so either the voltage across the inductor and the energy stored in the inductor as a function of time, if we're given the size of the inductor and the current as a function of time in the inductor. Really, what we should do here is write I, which is a function of time, like this. All right, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to find the equation that relates the voltage to the current and that equation is V as a function of time is equal to the inductance times the rate of change of the current, which of course is a function of time with respect to time. Which means we simply take the derivative of the current and we multiply that times the inductance. So in this case, this is equal to the inductance times the DDT, the rate of change or the, the change with respect to time of 10 e to the minus 5t. Taking the derivative of this, this is equal to L times, that would be 10 e to the minus 5t times the derivative, of course, of the exponent, which is minus 5. And we should put in a value for L. Let's go ahead and do that. L was equal to 0 0.2 Henry's. So we get 0 0.2 times 10, that's 0.2 times a negative 5, that's negative 10. So this is equal to negative 10 e to the minus 5t, and that would be the voltage as a function of time. Next, we want to find the energy stored on the inductor. So what equation do we need for that? Well, let's see here. I do remember that we can calculate the energy stored as equal to one half the inductance times the final current squared. Now in this case, we don't want the final current squared, we want the current as a function of time, which means that the energy stored as a function of time is equal to one half times the inductance times the current as a function of time quantity squared. In other words, we take this and plug it in here and multiply it times inductance. So the work done, to store that energy is equal to one half times the inductance, which is 0 0.2, times the current squared. Current is equal to his. This is 10 e to the minus 5t quantity squared. And when we simplify that, we get one half times this, which is 0 0.1, times this quantity squared, which is 100 e to the minus 10t. And now simplifying that again, we can say that the amount of energy stored as a function of time is equal to 10 times e to the minus 10t. Now units wise, of course, the units for this would be joules. And the units for this, of course, would be volts if we put in the proper units for time in each case. So that's how we find the voltage as a function of time given the current. And that's how we find the energy stored in the inductor as a function of time, given, again, the current. And that's how it's done. 